so you never heard of Ren before? Never. All right, you guys, you know what this is. Never. Off the rip, dude. <laughs> Off the rip. That's that's unsettling. Hi, Ren. What is going down, world? A welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus, and I have a very special guest. Yes. He is a rapper, a singer, a country artist. I just saw him sing the national anthem. <laughs> yeah. We have the one and only Chaz in the building. What's well, good, man? Dude, it's it's super fun to finally be here because I've seen your I've seen this. I've been like watching you yeah. for a while now, you know. So it's nice. like it's, it's like it's kind of like one of those moments where I'm like, oh, dude, I'm kind of like starting to arrive now. Hey, you know what I mean? This like, is what we hey, say. we make it we make it to a point where you get on like a kind of a well, not kind of. A, you got a famous podcast, dude. You got like a lot of followers and subscribers and like dude it's super cool to watch man oh yeah well so. i'm glad you made it man you're super talented i've got to hear the music behind the scenes yes. i've got to see you perform and you're a very dope artist now it's funny because before we got started you're i was like have you ever seen a reaction he's like yeah you put me on to uh watch the world burn i saw the chris calico yes. joint and so what brings us here today is I asked you if you've ever heard of Ren, and you said you've heard of him but never seen any of the music, Nothing. never seen any of his stuff. And I've actually never listened to his music. I've just heard of him. Yeah. I've heard of Ren. People have been like, oh, dude, you should check out Ren. And I'm like, well, <laughs> whatever. I mean, you know what well, I mean? I'm like, I'm got like, time today. Let's go, baby. So um, Yo, learn today. Yeah, so here we are, you guys. We're about to react to Ren and do what we call the Ren Roller Coaster. My time is crazy today, but we're going to do a few. So let's get it, you guys. Before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and comment on all of the content. But if you're really rocking with the vibe, subscribe to the channel. You know what it is. 40. 40-year-old 40 boys are back in town. 40. All right, you guys, let me get this logo down and pull the video up. You know what it is. Support the original content on the channel. I have a really cool interview with Tech Nine on the channel. We have an interview with Ren. Um, but also, I make music, so I have original music videos, music, all that stuff. So support the channel for the original content. And if you want to help us become independent, you see that? 40. We got the 40 merch, and we also have freestyle off top merch, That's champion hard. jackets, bomber jackets, all that stuff. Support. That, that, that hat's hard, bro. Thank you. Hell yeah. That's dope. Well, I'll put the link in the description of the website, blackpegasusrap.com. Let's make it happen. But without further ado, you guys, let's get into this um, now. I'm excited. Yeah. So this dude is named Ren, and I want to kind of preface this before we get started um, so you see a little what's going on. So right here, as he starts going, you're going to see a little mic right here. Yeah. Okay. And he's plugged in. This is a live performance music video at the same time as a music what? video. What? So um, I want you to keep that in mind as we watch this. It's a performance. So now, you got to give him. You got to give him some grace, basically. Like you can't. You can't just be like ripping on the dude because he's like, oh, like it obviously looks fake because he's got. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't spoil it. It's your your authentic Oof. reaction. It's a blind reaction. So we're gonna see what you think. Now it's a uh, uh, it's also done in one take, meaning it took them multiple times to get the one take, but, but he had to do take. it all the way through. So I want you to keep that in mind with this performance piece. As we're doing this, I want you to digest the lyrics, the songs, anything you see going on in the background, and let the people know what you're thinking, like. Where is, is this song taking you somewhere? Or can you, do you get the lyrics? Everything. That's what people like in the reaction, just to kind of know. They want to see. This is like us sitting in the car. I give you the aux cord. You're like, yes. bro, you got to hear Check this. It. And I'm like, dude, yo. Yeah, da, 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 da. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so absolutely. That's what's going on Let's here. make it happen, baby. So, all right, man. I'm going to bring it back just a little bit, you guys. And we're going to get started. This is Ren. Hi, Ren. With my man, Chaz. Let's go. And I can just pause like that whenever. So whenever well, you start talking, well, okay. Gonna... <laughs> the pig head. This reminds me of what it's it, it's uh it reminds saw. Oh yeah, think yeah. saw. I think saw. Okay, cool. I see so. that. some jigsaw in there a little bit. All right. Thank you. 
It's so nutty. Okay, let's pause this for a second because I got to point out the fact that this dude's playing probably a $20 guitar. You think so? Oh, dude. You could tell by the way that the you could tell by the way the strings sound. Okay. I'm a guitarist. Okay. I've been playing the guitar for like 20, 20 plus years. Oh wow. And so like you can tell by the way, <clears throat> first and foremost, and I I might be way wrong, but you can tell by just the way that it like when he strums the first note, it like it doesn't quite get the full note. So like if you play a Taylor guitar, mm-hmm. like if you play a Taylor acoustic, you can like you can like hit the barely hit the note and it'll just sound unbelievably crisp. Okay. But I want to say that that kind of get that's testament to the dude's talent. Like yeah. he's crushing it on like a low budget guitar. Oh, that's that's what's up. Yeah, so I don't know anything about guitars. And when I've done this reaction, I've heard so many different things from I believe I believe this is a classic guitar, not an acoustic guitar. Um that's what I think I've been told and then a lot of I I get so many different reactions but, to it. But but here's what I would say though. If it's a classic guitar, it has a plug-in. Classics oh, don't so have it, plugs. Oh, so it's an acoustic is what you're yeah. saying. Man, I'm get, it's funny because I've had so many reactions. Bro, to this, I don't remember exactly. This dude exactly. is already nutty, bro. I'm like, what? Is he about to yodel? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Hi there, Ran. It's been a little while. Did you miss me? You thought you buried me, didn't you? Risky. Cause I always come back Deep down you know that Deep down you know I'm always in periphery Rant on you please to see me It's been weeks since we spoke bro I know you need me You're the sheep I'm the shepherd Not your place to lead me Not your place to be biting off the hand that feeds me Hi Rant I've been taking some time to be distant I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself Since my therapist told me I'm ill And I've been making some progress lately And I've learned some new coping skills So I haven't really needed you much, man I think we need to just step back and chill Ren, you sound more insane than I do You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? You've been through this a million times Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to Okay, take another pill, boy Drown yourself in the... That's so nutty, bro. What is going on? What are we watching? Yo, this what is- are we watching, dude? This is the kind of thing that'll give you, like, you'll have, like, you know those, like, really, like, off-the-wall dreams that you're, like, you wake up and you're, like, <laughs> what just happened, dude? Yeah. Like, this is the kind of, like, I don't know if it's a nightmare or if it's just, like, an apocalyptic end-of-the-world dream. Like, yeah. So, okay, I, I got to say this. One of the things that I love, so, like, we went, like, last night we went to NF, uh-huh. right, here in, uh, in Denver. And uh, you could tell the dude's got mental health issues, yeah. right? Like, he's, he's, he, he genuinely has mental health issues, sure. right? Um, and you could see, like, the value in the music because of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he's so unbelievably talented. And then you have this, and this is like, Whoa. <laughs> this yeah. is like the kind of thing that you're just like, I don't know if he's doing it to mess with you or if he literally has, but this, this, this doesn't seem like, this doesn't seem normal. This doesn't seem like he's, <laughs> this doesn't seem like he's just messing with you, bro. Like, yo, it's so this funny dude's like, because I have to hold back on so much commentary just to make sure I don't spoil the reaction, but I dig it. I dig what you're saying. I like and, and you want to know what the funny thing is too? I like him. Nice. Dude, there's something I don't know what it is, dude. It's like I love people that are like I I I'm a weird person behind closed okay. doors. Like <laughs> I have a very I have very strange ticks, right? Yeah. Like there are certain things about who I am as a person that I, you guys will probably never know. But who knows? Maybe my wife will get mad at me one day and she'll she'll blast me all over the place and I'll just be <laughs> burned. But you know, it's like you just don't ever know like if if like you just don't know if people's like are authentic yeah. or not. You know what I mean? And so like you get this point where you're like where you watch people like this and you're like, dude, I don't know. But that that's kind of the that's like the suspense. That's yeah. the suspenseful. The you know, this is susp- yeah, the suspension that keeps you wanting to come back yeah. for more. Oh yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I know Okay, exactly let's listen. Let's watch talking. this. Dude. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm insane than I do. You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? You've been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to. Okay, take another pill, boy. Drown yourself in the sound of white noise. Follow this 10 step program. Rejoice. All your problems will be gone. Fucking dumb boy. Nah, mate. This time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place. And my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great. And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered. 
for doing something special with myself. That's why I don't think that we should talk, man. Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help. You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we, we are one. Split in two, that makes one, so you see. You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me. I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side. Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy. Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics or stats. I never write hooks for the radio, they never even play me, so why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connecting, and the people who find it respect it. And for me, that's enough, cause this life's been tough, so it gives me a purpose I can rest in. Man, you sound so pretentious. Ren, your music is so self-centered. No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself. Trust me. You should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglected, I get it You wanna be a big deal, next Jimi Hendrix, forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that, I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're Dude, wrong okay, when I'm okay, okay I, okay <laughs> Dude, the way he shifts when he plays the guitar Like, when he plays the guitar and he's like In that, like, like that, uh uh, what's the word I'm like? Not is it malignant? Would that be a good word to describe the the malevolent, okay. malevolent, okay, yeah, the malevolent yeah. side of who he is, yeah. right? That like, and then like the the benevolent side, which is yeah. the good side of him. You know, it softens when he plays yeah. that, and then he's like hard, and it's just like, dude, it's like an emotional roller coaster. I don't know, <laughs> dude. I have I don't think I've ever watched a video that has provoked such a response from me. <laughs> An emotion, like dude. When I watched, listen. When I watched, watch the world burn. I was so pumped. I was like, oh, this is awesome. Let's go. You know, like, because that's like, dude, I love, I love those, those artists that can just do it all. Yeah. You know, and uh, Ronnie Radke is one of those people. Yes, he is. He can just do everything. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and I kind of pride myself on that same thing. Like, I, I believe that in my heart, like, I, I can do what Ronnie Radke yeah. does. You know what I'm saying? I think you've had a little, you've caught little snippets yes. of it. So, I mean, and I have like, you know, rock music and all this other stuff that I'm working on and I'm going to be you know, releasing hopefully soon and all this other stuff. But like, I love, and I respect people that can do it all, yeah. but I have a lot. It's like a, it, this is a hard, this is a hard, he, he's a very difficult person to put in any genre. Like what genre would you put him in? And we're only three minutes in. What would you, what genre would you put him in? <laughs> Yodeling. Verse. No, I'm just <laughs> blue, bluegrass, uh -huh. bluegrass, <laughs> what, psychedelic rap. <laughs> Yeah. Bluegrass. I think I just created a new genre. Bluegrass psychedelic rap. Yeah. That's that's you, Ren. We're just getting started, you guys. Welcome to the roller coaster. Here we go, you guys. You're a legend, dude. <laughs> if you if you watch this, Ren. If you watch this, you're a legend. I am thoroughly impressed. Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song that was not done previous A battle with the subconscious, Eminem did it Played on guitar, Plan B did it Man, you're not original, you criminal rip off artist The pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material Ren, mate, we've heard it all before Oh, she sells seashells on the seashore Fuck you, I don't need you, I don't need to hear this Cause I'm fine by myself, I'm a genius And I will be great, and I will make waves And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us That's right, speak your truth, you're fucking God complex leaks out of you It's refreshing to ask for you Say it instead of downplay it uh, Music is all about the creative process And if people can find something to relate to within that Then that's just a bonus Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you Ren I'ma fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you Ren I'ma do it, watch me prove it Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside <sighs> Newsflash I was created at the dawn of creation. I am temptation. I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings. I am sin with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mistopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips. So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal. Feeble and normal, you wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of end. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. Hi, Ren. I've been taking some time to be distant. 
I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself And I've spent half my life ill But just as sure as the tide starts turning Just as sure as the night has dawn Just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry When you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand, it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet And you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor And I go by many names also Some people know me as hope Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain And I didn't once flinch your shame So cower at the man I've become When I sing from the top of my lungs That I won't retire I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong And when I am gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a climate different side When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students it wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. Dude. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax, and I learned to soften, and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget, that we are human beings. Hello, Ren. Dude, what did we just watch? I don't know. What did we just watch? I'd love to hear your analysis. So, <laughs> all right. So this is what I, this is how I have to, this is how I, I'm going to interpret this, right? So obviously he's, there's, you know, and, and, and just biblical references, right? The, obviously the biblical references. And then there's like, there's obvious tons of biblical references that where it talks about like how there's two sides of every person, right? There's like the flesh is what the Bible would refer to it as, or the spirit. Yes. Right? Or dark and light, you know, bad, good, right. evil, righteous, you know, yep. so on and so forth. So what I would, how I would interpret this would be that inside of him, he's, he's his art is an opportunity for him to like, not just, <clears throat> you know, because you hear this a lot with artists, like, oh, this is my way of communicating you know, my truth to the world. Right. But for him, this might be a way for him to speak to himself in a way that helps him to process through what's going on in his own life. Sure. Does that make sense? Yeah. So like, for example, like if I write a song, so I wrote a song about my daughter who passed away, right? Not to get morbid, but 
I wrote a song about my daughter who passed away. And sometimes when I'm struggling with her, that situation, I'll listen to that song to help me process through. Right. So in some regard, I believe that this is like an opportunity, the same thing with NF, right. Where he, he really openly, you know, communicates that he's got mental health issues. I think that like, I, I, I don't even really know how to elaborate on what we just watched. <laughs> no doubt. No like doubt. it's, it, it really is an intense, that was an intense because it's the kind of thing that like also music opens doors too. So it's kind of one of those things that like, did he like, did he just open a door for all of us to kind of see this weird background of his own life? But like, I look at, I look at this situation and I'm like, this dude, he, he, he may be, it's hard for me because I don't think he's saying he's possessed, mm -hmm. but that's what he's referring to when he's talking about the morning star, the Lucifer, like I, all those things like that's what he is. That's what he's saying. Yeah. And so I don't know if he's saying, oh, I'm possessed by the devil. Um, and then also, like, there's this other side where he's talking about how he is he walks with God, right? There's That's what he's saying at the end of that part where he's standing up and he's, dude, it's just, yeah, dude, this is like a, <laughs> let's go. I'm blown away. Like, what did we just watch? Yeah, no doubt. No, that's, and this is what's cool about these reactions. Everyone reacts different. And it's about, art is about, what you interpret how you interpret it that's 100%. why i try not to say too much i just i, I try to let you kind of coast and i'm i'm kind of like the tour guide right but what you see is what you see i can be like hey there's let's say we're in a safari i'm like there's some monkeys there's some lions um but it's up to you to either be scared of the lion or be like oh my god that's amazing i've never seen a lion yeah, this interpretation close. so I'm just the tour guide, you guys, and this is cool. I think, you know, you're picking up on that back and forth dialogue that happens with what with I think it's just like the concept, you know, that back and forth the the angel on your shoulder and yes. the, the dark angel yeah, and the good angel, correct. you know. Well, and and listen, and you're seeing all that. And listen, if 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 the people who are watching this, if you guys ever if you guys go to ch my channel and you guys go to like let's look at my music of Apple Music and all these other things, you'll see and you'll hear certain things about my life. In the same regard, we were talking when we when we got picked up, um, when we got picked up, when I got picked up from the Denver airport, me and my friend Helen were talking about, uh, you know, just kind of the spiritual side of life, mm -hmm. right? She was talking about religious, and I'm like, ah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that I'm religious, mostly because I don't like, I believe in, I believe in God, right? Yeah. But Jesus didn't like religious people. He didn't like them at all. Matter of fact, he couldn't stand them. Those right. are the only people in actually the Pharisees. In, they're the only ones in Scripture that he literally did not like. Mm -hmm. I don't like you. He used to call them brood of vipers. You know, woe to you. Like he really didn't like them. Right. Like he he genuinely and he would call them hypocrites. And the that that word hypocrite actually is derivative of a of a Greek word called hypocrisy. And what that means is to wear a mask. Mm. And so it's like you're putting a mask on. Because the world, you want the world, but behind that mask is a face of a demon, yeah. right? And so, but if you go into my music, you'll hear like situations like when I lost my daughter, you know, I I had a really bad case, and and like I don't mean to get like super intense with this, but like Just open this up. is it's all this good. is this is an important thing for music. For me, especially because I, music is is a ma not just an interpretation, but music is a it's a portal, man. Like you you really do open doors, and I have opened doors. When I was mad at God for taking my daughter, because I believe that I don't believe God takes lives. I believe that God, uh, I believe that God allows life, and I believe uh, that God allows death. Right, but I don't think he just goes in and just like takes yeah, it. He baby. doesn't right. pick you like, oh, I'm setting fires in right. Maui this or, week, or or he's like, oh, this 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 guy pissed me off, so I'm gonna kill his kid. Yeah. Right, like I don't think that's the case. Yeah. Right, like that's 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 to me would be unrealistic. Yeah. Right. I don't serve. A, I wouldn't serve. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever want to serve or believe in a God like that. Yeah. Right. But like you'll see and you'll hear in, even in my music, the battle, the struggle between good and evil. Right. Like there's times where like, I'll write a song called broken where I'm like, I'm talking about like that. It's okay to be broken and that God's with you. And then you'll hear me write a song called Lucy. Right. That's about a demon yeah. that, that I saw in my dream. Right. So like these things are a reality to these people and to him, this is a reality to him. 
I believe that. And to open this up to you now that we've watched this. So what happened was he has Lyme's disease, but they didn't know it. <sighs> and then they misdiagnosed it. So he went crazy during the misdiagnosis, like a lot of mental issues. And then he was on the brink of death. And then when they diagnosed it properly, now he's actually in Canada getting these special treatments that are really helping him out. But he really went through this. So I didn't want to guide you through that at the, the beginning and let you pick up on the oh. thing itself. But, yeah, he's really been through it. You know what I'm saying? So um, you saying what you've said, I know you've been through it as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, um, man, and, and to key in on that, you guys, I will put his link in the description, um, uh, and, and, and I'll – Pin him in the comments. Obviously, I wait. So the members get to see this first. Yeah. So sometimes the members be like, yo, where's the links to your stuff? But when it goes public, that's when I do it, you guys. Yep. But um, you know what? There's some layers to Ren. And um, I want to play some a couple more things. I call this the Ren roller coaster because you didn't even know what to describe this genre. So do you want to you know what's crazy about that top one? It says murder. Yeah. It murder. looks like that's that's that looks like the rims of Billings, Montana. Oh, that's where I'm from. That's literally looks that's like crazy. the rims. I think he was in L.A. when he did that one. That's That's crazy. really recent. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to play this one. This one's deep. It's touching. And um, I haven't really been doing this one on the uh, the the Ren roller coasters until I did one with Travis. And I think I just I don't want to give you any preconceived notions. Let's get it. Now, this is Ren with his good friend Chinchilla. And I want to play this, and I'd like to play one more before we bounce. So let's see if we can get through it all. Yeah, let's get it. in my head I've been talking to the dead and the fear baptized me my kingdom turned to dust and I watched all my riches rust have I lost the Midas touch or do sad eyes blind me over and over we go Over the hills and the valleys below Oh, and it follows me, follows me home And it suffocates me No, I can't breathe I said, oh, I can't breathe all I know Is I forgot how to be me Feel safe in these holes. There are bruises on the walls. There are bodies in the floors, and they breathe so loudly. I wish I could move, get up and walk right out this tomb. Do our saviors die too soon? For my sins surround me Over and over we go Over the hills and the valleys below Oh, and it follows me, follows me, follows me And it suffocates me
gave up the fight A quick decision lay in the night That stayed with me for all of my life I miss you so I am officially a fan. Yeah. No, dude, I'm officially a fan. Yeah. This dude is wow. So, <clears throat> first and foremost, as a writer, I'm just going to tell you how difficult that is yeah. as to write something like that. And not only to write it, but then to communicate it. And she was, dude, wow. That was incredible. Yeah. It really, that really puts a, a light on, um, it put, puts a light, also kind of puts a light on the medical, you know, in the, on the world of medicine. Yeah. The detriment that it can be, that can be caused. Yeah. What's, what's interesting about that one too, I get a little stirred up with emotion because the behind the scenes story is on top of his medical issues. He lost his best friend. Now, because of YouTube, I have to say it in a certain way so it doesn't get Flag Flagged. as age yep. restricted, but essentially his friend passed away because of his own doing, you know Correct. what I mean? And, um, they're not sure. Like they feel like it could have been a mistake, you know, on a bridge, windy night. And he was thinking about it, but then the weather could have, or he could, have, yeah. they don't, they don't they, really yep. know. It's just a, a very, but it's, it's wreaked havoc and it comes through his songs. He has a song called freckled angels. That's about his friend, Joe. And this song is about, losing that person that's so close to you and you forgot how to become be yourself you oh know what my I mean? god and so that's why it's called how to be me and the behind the story that's why you see the tears in his eyes at the end and the way he delivers the end so knowing the story i get a little emotional because oh, i'm yeah. like you know you can resonate with that that loss you well know and, what I mean? and and like for sh for me I, like i'll never forget the I, like i i still remember the way the room smelled and I, i'll never forget the weather outside when my daughter passed away, um, it you, you do you remember the song that Eminem said? He goes, um, the the clouds gather. He's talking about in the sky when he's it's it's a, I think it's my dad's going crazy. Yeah, and he's talking about Clyde Mathers the the uh, the clouds gather in the sky. But it was like he was talking about clouds gathering in the sky, and I just always have that image of like it was a sunny day on April fourteenth of two thousand and sixteen. I'll never forget it. It was a sunny day, and uh, I get the phone call, and shoot my my uh, my girlfriend at the time was like, "Hey, I'm going into labor." I'm like, "Okay," so I rush home, and I get there, and she's having like a contraction, but contractions end. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Contractions end, so there's not like a <clears throat> there's not like a end. There wasn't an end to this contraction. Yeah. And so what was happening at the moment was it's called an abruption. It's the placenta separates from the uterus and it constricts oxygen and blood to the brain and then they're stillborn, right? So I'll never forget that day. Like I like there's certain smells. Like when my like I he I had a son after her after she passed away. He's he's what you'd call the rainbow baby. Yep. That's and you know my story too, right? Yep. 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 So so the rainbow baby, <clears throat> the rainbow baby. Um, he was he's the rainbow baby and um. And, uh, the, the smell of his sweat sometimes smells like her. Mm. And so I'll have, I'll have, I'll, I'll enter into an episode, a post-traumatic stress episode where I'll be like, I'll, I'll start like getting my breath gets short. You know, my, yeah. my, 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 my energy is intensified and I'm so like when he cries, like when he cries or if he, feel, it's like, dude, this, that, that, this, this is the kind of music though, but this is the kind of music that you this is the this is the kind of thing that should be blown up everywhere. Yeah, well, because it's, it's on its way with Ren. It is on its way. So well, it should, yes. as it well should, as it well should. He deserves it. Not only that, but like when you have a battle like that for something that like you didn't. It's one thing to have like you know, and I'll just give you another, another little backstory. You might I might have told you this already, but I'm an alcoholic, right? But I don't. I haven't drank. I haven't had a drink a drop of alcohol. Uh, since May 21st of 2020, right? So it's been three, a little over three years. Um, and I can tell you that that battle was horrible, but it's nothing like something like he went through. Yeah. That was self-imposed. Yeah. This, this, his story wasn't self-imposed at all. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it just, he just, 
he had a he had a misdiagnosis that could have ended his life. Yeah. It's crazy because what you said, man, I got to try to hold I need to be a what is it? Stoic. Stoic. Um when we had our stillborn, it was like six and a half months, so it was different than yours. Ours was like, you know, we went in for our six and a half month ultrasound and the yep. heart had started beating, so they had to induce her into labor. And um, I was so mad at that time because my firstborn was supposed to be a boy. Yep. And I had envisioned for so long having a baby boy. And um, I was so mad. I wouldn't even hold him to say goodbye, you know, when they have the body. The yep. little, you know, oh, yeah. And um, I regret that to this day. And reacting to this with my buddy, I actually had a talk, started talking about it. And I had a huge breakdown on camera that I still haven't released because it's hard for me to be vulnerable and yeah. put that out there like that. But you talking about it, I feel more comfortable talking Absolutely. about it. But I'm also trying to keep the calm because in that title, the reason it got me, it was because it said how to be me. Yep. And they're talking about I forgot how to be me. And I remember through the process, my wife changed. She got very cold and dark and somber. And it took a lot of years of just time, therapy, and yep. stuff to get out of that place. And we had our rainbow baby, my daughter. But um, that I forgot how to be me just resonated so crazy with me the first time I ever heard that oh, song. Yeah. I literally just had like a little breakdown in the reaction. And I haven't even released it because I'm just... It's just one of those things I'm just not ready to put it out there like that. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's funny that you say that too because it's like you you have to become ready, right? You can't force something like this. Yeah. The unfortunate aspect of it, of the tragedy that 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 is death, is that you don't know how to process grief. Yeah. Um, grief is still one of the only things that we have yet to figure out. Yeah. We can't because grief lays the foundation for rage. Yeah, <clears throat> and that's what happened. And something I'll mm -hmm. regret the rest of my life not just holding my little man and just telling like, him, "Yeah, I love you." Yep. yep. And so when I when Ismaila was born, her my daughter's name is Ismaila, and her actual the def, the name of her her name in Hebrew means God hears. Mm. And so I wrote a song called "God Hears." It's probably my most popular song. Nice. Um, and one of the things that you you realize when you're watching that song is that like. That's something that I, I took on as my, from on my, like as my, like I took that on myself. Like yeah. I, I blamed myself for that part of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so when you, when you say you don't know how to be me, you, you really like, he really don't know how to get back to the person that you were yeah. because there's no way to be able to like, how do I, how do I, how do I process this? I, I'm burying my child. You know, I had to cremate my daughter. I have a, a, an urn of ashes. Yep. We do too. And we had two, we had a boy and then a daughter, similar things too, but thank God for my daughter who has made it. You yeah, know absolutely. So. And that's, and that again, you know, that that's, that's like in the light at the end of the tunnel and this there, there, cause there, I feel like there always has to be a light at the end of every tunnel, yes, right? Absolutely. Because you can, get, you can, it's really, really, really easy to get stuck in the morbidity of, of what happens, yeah. right? It's easy to get stuck there. And the reason why it's easy is because it feels comfortable. You know, it gives you a, it gives you a, 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 you know, it gives you an excuse to rationalize, you know, uh, doing pretty much whatever you want. Yeah. Right. Like, so you have to be careful because, you know, for me, especially like in my alcoholism, I'll give you an example for what, what I mean by that. Well, if you had a daughter die in your arms, you would do it too. Right. You would drink like I drink. You'd use, you'd use drugs like I use drugs. Right. Does that make yeah. sense? Yep. So it's like, you can get stuck there. And if you get stuck there, that becomes the excuse, but you can either be a victim or you can be a survivor. And the mentality is simple. It's a switch from poor me to watch me. Right. Poor me to watch me. And then you 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 use this as an opportunity to say, you know what? I didn't die from this. It's not even really about me. It's about the baby. Yeah. You know, it's about the life that was given. Um, and if you do have hope, right? The, the there's a scripture in the Bible that says we do not mourn as those who have no hope. Yeah. And I think that that's an important that's an important reality that we have to remember because you do have a child, you know. I do have a son that came after that. And so he deserves to have the best piece of his father, which is, hey, you know, I know that you lost my sister, but I'm still here. Yeah. 
And so there's like, and you know well enough, you, I mean, if there's anybody that knows this, you know how important that rainbow baby is. There's yes. like almost an obsession. Yeah. It's like, it's a, it's like, it's like there's this level of like, man, I just would do anything for this child. Yes, absolutely. People know. Yeah. Went to Panama and got the stem cells. You guys know the story. Um, That's dope, by the yeah. way. Um, so, man, that takes us to a totally different place. I want to wrap this up yes. and just show you another side of him. There's so many sides of him. Yeah. And bro, our energy is really dope. I got to get you on here for more reactions. I'm not even going to ask them, should we bring you back? Yeah. <laughs> because we could do massive different reactions yes. on my channel because you just have this energy. I can just tell when a guest has the energy where it's like, we could just have fun and have the conversation. Yeah, dude, I love This is fun. Like, I blast. try to do my reactions conversation-based. Some people just be like, yo, this is tight. I like to, that's why I call it the podcast because I'm a hybrid of the reaction channels. Yeah. I treat this like a podcast, but we're reacting to music. So it's a little bit different in my personal opinion. But, um, Let's go through the hunger, and we're going to wrap this up with a bow. We're rocking with Chez. I'll make sure to tag his YouTube channel and um, put um, links in the description. He'll have to let me know what song or something we'll put in the yeah, description so you guys can get, switch. Check, check his stuff out. Um, I, I know you guys are going to enjoy this reaction, so we'll just keep it moving. Here we go. This is Ren, The Hunger. Poison in my veins, lights a flame in my brain That maintains the pain that may change my frame of mind Blind, I design rhymes, intertwined, double time Genuine Frankenstein, I made a monster Conquer, music scene, golden ticket, Wonka Conjure, lyrics in my belly, I got thunder Younger, everybody wishes they were younger The older I'm getting, the more I feel the hunger I'm about to like a welterweight, help to scout I need out to self, the alpha, beta, delta I help you into the fall, I shall come out of mind The TV, these rhymes, you my fine, you never felt a feeling like this Feeling me, believing I'm a demon, I'm a devil Fuck the game, complete at every level, I'm a vessel The spirits are trembling on my lyrics, I'm a rebel I raise my fist, the anti-capitalistic pissed I revel In society collapsing, fantastic, now pump the treble Think to the top of the tip of my tongue and tap into telepathy Terrify them with the terrible telekinesis tantrum It's time to the enemy So when I flow and I grow and I flow and I swallow the flow like a Toblerone And I'm feast and I flow and my beast with the flow Then I'm switching it up and I'm taking it low Kiddy with the black heart in the car park by Primal Jamming Django, one heart, living with a raw star Refine, rats will find our Vincent Van Gogh, I start Making my mark like Frankie's or not Trucking call me Arthur And my style is homegrown like growing Cali weed Don't need no personal trainer, I got trainers on my feet You know I got the soul in my bowl when I eat You know I'm staying grounded when I grind up my beef But if you got a problem, my brother, I might just put on some rubber gloves And just choke it till I erupt to some blood that just bubbles up And the bubbles just double up and you struggle But luck is up cause I'm subtle at covering up the trouble Cover up the crime scene, 1990, that's my scene My teen years were spent rolling the tie green Obscene fiend in a pair of baggy jeans Putting backy with the green Roll of fatty dopamine starts flowing My cerebellum glowing, the pendulum is flowing I'm swinging and I'm swaying but I don't know where I'm going My running Jesse Owens, hallelujah, Leonard Cohen All the seeds that I've been sowing, slowly growing like trees I grow then I preach, scrap that I teach Teach over beats, to all those that seek Teach on these streets Streets can be bleak, but bleak was the place where I rose to my feet. I'm officially a fan. I'm officially a fan of this dude. He is so dope, bro. <laughs> Ren, if you hear this dude, I want a feature, bro. This is so hard, bro. I love it, dude. He he just he just knows how to captivate you, dude. He really knows how to like he really knows how to draw you in and provoke the emotion. Sure. Like sure. he know like Dude, it's easy to do a reaction video when you watch music like this. this is, you know, like, like this thanks true. for making our job easy, buddy. That's yeah. pretty much what it really comes down to. Yeah, man. I wanted to just show that at the end. One, it changes the vibration Absolutely. of what we were talking about, yeah. which is sincere, deep, and we need those combos. Agreed. But we're about to get on with our day. And I just it's like he produces his own beats. Yeah. And he's rolling out a hip hop album right now. So I always like to put the but he can you being an artist, because I know you can rap, you can sing, you can do the the yeah. screamo, you can do the country yeah. singing. Yeah. So we haven't even got into this. So I'll bring you back. Now, you guys, he's in Montana. Yeah. So he might not be back for a little bit. But next time, because I have me and you could just do reactions for hours. Bro, hours. And just have fun. Really, dude, we'd have a and blast. It, so <laughs> we'll, we'll have to schedule some time because he has when he comes out here, he records you guys. Yeah. Um, but we'll, we'll, I'll bring him back because uh, I actually enjoyed this. When I enjoy it this much, I'm like, oh yeah, let's just we'll just make some more stuff happen. Absolutely, so. we have to, bro. This was a this was a blast. I thank you for bringing me on, man. I know that it was, uh, you know, short notice, and I and you know we came up here kind of a, uh, you know, and we kind of had a drop ball and some other miscommunications that kind of 
it landed us in different places, but dude, it was cool to be able to come here and end uh, my trip this way. Um, and you know, man, I'll be out. I'll be oh, back. I'll be back 100. percent All right, you guys. This is Chez. Let them know where Thank they can find you on social media. So you can look me up on on uh, Facebook. Just uh, just type in Chez Romero, add me or follow me. Um, and then if you if I don't if I don't add you right away, just shoot me a message. Uh, it'll go to my message request, and then I'll I'll add you. And then you guys can check me out at the Real Chez Music on uh, Instagram and on um, on TikTok, and then. Uh, Spotify, it's just Chez, C-H-E-Z. And if you type in Chez, flip the switch, it'll bring you straight to my channel. You guys can uh, subscribe, listen. Uh, YouTube, same thing. Look up Chez, flip the switch. It'll bring you straight to my channel. You guys, and he'll drop the link for, for yeah, the switch. I'll, drop the, 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 I'll pin it in the comments, and I'll put it in the description. So, so all right, you guys, man. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I know you did. This was fun. And, um, yeah, let us know. Was it a classic guitar? Was it an acoustic guitar? Yes. And also, I was thinking about the strings. Was it because they played it live and he didn't get get to put the studio Bro, sound it, there, co- there's it. a lot of things they could have done. So, a lot of things. We'll let figure us know, it you out. guys. Let, you let guys us know go what crazy in the comments. All right, you guys, like, share, comment, subscribe. Peep the description, blackpegasusrap.com. 40! Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road, back again. F U Q Boys. 40. Sheesh.